Morning everybody, it's John with Upstate Brush Control. We're out here in Simpsonville, South Carolina, mulching off a, uh, uh, it's probably close to an acre of, we got a lot of Bradfords, just bunch of junk, hedgerow privet, privet, stuff like that. We got both ASVs out here today. We got Joshua and Micah over here. Uh, we got the E55. Willie's out on another job right now. How's it going, Josh? What's up, everybody? What you got there? Is that a water bottle? I saw that in the excavator. I was like, ooh. Got to stay hydrated. I started drinking on my 10 pound water. <laughs> but uh, we're, get, we're talking about leaving this big, uh, oh, whatever that thing is. Brad for pair. Talking about leaving it, so Josh going to run around it real quick. Um, we are going all the way to the road. This is a very busy road. A lot of traffic right now. Well, not right now. But it is a pretty busy road so we're gonna work over here let traffic kind of die down um we got to go all the way to the back of the property so yeah it's gonna be a party for sure so i'm just gonna kind of go in and start roughing out all this is the plan so we do have a cemetery back there that we have to work around we have to be careful not to get into um, it is marked for us, so. They've been sitting here warming up for about 15 minutes as we're getting ready, so. This is kind of our, we have to clean this whole edge off here. You can kind of see right there, it's on the top, but we got to clean that whole ditch off. There's a lot of work here. It, uh, it's one of those jobs that I looked at, I looked at a while ago and um, kind of forget about it. You know, you make notes on stuff and you kind of forget about it. So you get here like, oh man, well, that's all right, we'll get it. Let's get to it here. I'll get an area opened up and then we'll uh, set up the tripod. I hate, hate mulching underneath um, right aways. There's always trash in them. It's, power, it's a power line right away, right above me.
Well, we are moving right along here. <clears throat> Mike has got the ones cut out of the yard. Um, you know, we try to we try to take the time and the quality that we do instead of mulching all that out here in grass. We cut it off, move it off to an area where in over here in our big mulch bed. The we'll still run over it again, but you know, it just it makes the yard look so much better instead of mulching it right there, having all this mulching grass. I mean, you can tell he keeps this up. So, yeah. There's a pink line. Uh, there's an orange here and there's another one farther back, but all that's coming out. All that material's coming down. Um, all this is coming out. We're gonna leave these cherries right now, these black cherries. And uh, the contractor we're working for, he's gonna come by and look at them, say yes or no, but I have a feeling he's gonna like wanna take those, those out over there. So we'll see. They look pretty, uh, pretty rough. Josh is over here going to town. Keep going, let's keep rolling here.
all right we just finished up lunch um we got everything kind of in this first area roughed out you can see i start finishing you can see the line right there where i start finishing that section i'm kind of working this way uh willie finished up his little job that he was working on so he's over here he's in the old 120 the one that i was in and uh so i'm finishing off working back up towards him and then willie oh sorry josh and micah are down here cutting out the ditch so we got a good bit of hand work to do here oh none of it none of it's like terribly huge but it's you know just kind of annoying stuff um we do have to get out that cedar right there and there's two others i might make a phone call about that but i'm thinking about we got stuff to stop the road real quick just dropping it out in the road and then um oh man i don't know that's a pretty big we'll have to see but uh yeah we gotta for sure clean everything up here this um the neighbor over here came out and there was gonna be this goofy little strip right there so he's like hey can you come all the way over to our yard so i'm like that's fine no big deal it didn't take us that much longer keeps everybody happy but uh we ended up saving some of these cherries right through here it turned out pretty nice we did take down the big uh i don't remember what it's called pear tree over there so that's done and gone with but willie's got uh sharper teeth on his and we got some pretty good sized material and he is just flying through it that right there is the cemetery i was talking about they had it flagged out for us where to stop so all right well uh set you guys up over here do some back dragging and maybe get some more willy over there
Well, that's about it for today. It happens every time. As soon as I run it into struggle, I stop recording. But I know you guys like seeing that day, like actually what happens. I apologize. We had quite a few things go wrong. We had two teeth break. We had two, two bolts break on the teeth of the cutter head. Um, I, one of the hoses right here came loose. Every now and then it'll happen. This uh, fitting right here, you know, you get it as tight as you can and I'm not sure what happened. It just started spraying, but nothing was, it's not a, uh, it does not have a O-ring on it on that one. But um, ugh, it's like one thing after, and then a code came up. I don't know what the code is. It went where it went away, went away right away. As I was saying, and then the battery died. <laughs> I had quite a few little hiccups today. Nothing, nothing we can't handle though. But um, yeah, code came up in this. Really weird. Code came up, went right away. So I called and uh, like, oh yeah. Oh mercy. Josh, water bottle. Oh, dang it. Drama chapstick. Oh goodness. But we are heading out. I was really only anticipating this being a one day job. But that's part of it, you know? That's part of mulching. That's part of doing what we do. A lot of stuff breaks. A lot of stuff you don't anticipate going into jobs. There should be a cap on that. One of the other things here is I, uh, I told the contractor we were working for, I was like, yeah, we could take down those little trees in the front. When you're looking at them from like here, they don't look that big. <laughs> so we had to drop them out in the road, stop the road, drop them out in the road. Josh did a great job swinging those out there. We did not hit any power lines or cars. So, and then like, you cannot walk every square inch of this stuff. You just can't. You never know what's going to be in there. Rocks bricks uh fences there's fences all in here stuff slows you down so much um and then over here we hit a uh there's a concrete slab looks like uh you can kind of see the outline the darker dirt right there no clues even there no clue but you can kind of see a piece sticking up right there hit some with the grinder there but this is one of those things that the property line is actually right there by the pole and it shoots over right there at that pink and we just went ahead and went over on this other guy's property he came out and actually asked us if we could but absolutely yeah it's, it's almost easier sometimes to do that a little bit in this situation got another situation in the back there's a huge fence in the way so he asked if we do that for free I was like yeah I don't think so but <laughs> we'll have to figure that out but there's the little cemetery there one of the other things I anticipate I kind of it's anticipated I kind of forgot about it thought for sure I could pull off in that driveway there's no way. The gooseneck barely made it. Um, so, thankfully, there's this little gravel spot over here. And then everybody started showing up over here and they were kind enough to let me stay, but I can't be back here tomorrow. But we found another spot we could park on the back side of the property. It's actually a little neighborhood over there. So that's where we're gonna park. It's that in the yard. But, um, yeah, gonna get these ramps pulled up here real quick. But they're building the truck, and uh, I'm out of here. We are out of here. 
be back tomorrow. So tomorrow's Friday. Hoping to uh, get out of here at a decent time. Got quite a few stuff going on at the shop. So stay tuned for that. And then stay tuned for part two of this rest of this uh, mulching job. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good one.